The first platypus I saw after the flood was a female and she was tangled in twine. Hey, buddy, we thought you're safe. Oh, it's a bit of one. Oh, it's yeah. cut right in, hasn't it? Yeah, indeed. Once we'd caught the platypus and started removing the twine, you could really see the depth of the injuries. Can we see the muscle? The red? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah. It really took a community to catch one animal. The care was incredible. They uh, took the platypus in, they took x-rays and checked her over, gave her physical, cleaned out the wounds put in fluids, painkillers, antibiotics, and then put her to bed. Yeah, we'll start sort of putting some stitches in this and get it closed up. Over a couple of hours, they stitched up the two wounds. <laughs> it really did take the animal quite a, a while to wake up. I think there were a couple of concerned <laughs> looks. Where's it going? I got that. Finally, her eyes opened and she started wriggling around. Yeah, that was a relief. Come on, Bubba, we can up, please. Yeah, okay. So we're down here at the rivulet to collect some goodies to make the platypus feel like uh, it's at home. We're getting some fine gravel, some pebbles, leaf litter. Uh, hopefully there'll be some water bugs amongst all of that as well. All right. It was a phenomenal thing to see how much passion was burning inside him at this stage to really try and help the platypus in a much more proactive way. It's just such a lovely thing to come in here and find her curled up asleep. I'm surprised at how kind of slow her breathing yeah. is and deep. It's kind of... Yeah. Yeah. She's had a good 10 hours sleep, so it'll be safe to let her feed now. Straight away there's that behaviour of nosing around. He's had a big operation and even we wouldn't eat well for the next couple of days. The main thing is to just offer her as much as she'll take and give her as much time as she needs to feed. That would have been the first time you've handled a platypus, is it, Pete? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, that's been a beautiful thing, you know, this morning. 